All right, Firefly 515. Um, I'm trying to understand you, buddy. I really am. Uh, my first notion has been that you're just an attention whore, and that's all you are. You want nothing but attention, no matter who you hurt to get it or who you help to get it. Um, I hope that's wrong. I do. Um, I know you have said in the past, I think in one of your three last videos, that you do love attention, you do want subscribers, and that everyone else on YouTube does also. I don't think that's true. I think there are a lot of people on YouTube that want to hear other people's opinions. I think there's a lot of people on YouTube that simply just want to share their opinions. I think there are a lot of people on YouTube that want to find people of like agendas or like feelings, thoughts, beliefs, things of that nature. So I think that, that statement is kind of wrong. But I'm really making this video because I want to talk about uh, labels and what is a true Christian. Now, I can see where you can say that labels could be bad. Because if you take an account of killings and things of that nature that have been and done in the name of paganism, Christianity, secularism, uh, different things, then you could say that labels are bad, that labels make someone not be able to understand the true you or whatever, that they make a generalization of you when they first meet you because you say that you're a Christian. But at the same time, you also have to see Jesus Freak's point when he's saying that in the Bible it does say, let your light shine. Now, if you won't even let yourself be labeled a Christian, I don't understand how you can help anybody else become a Christian. That's kind of my thoughts on that. I don't know. I, I could probably go into that more deeply, but true Christian. Uh, I believe a true Christian is obviously one that believes in God, that believes Jesus was his son, is his son. Um, I believe that you know, we've all fallen short of the glory of God and that none of us will ever be perfect, but we should all strive for perfection. Now, I got a lot of things in my life that I got to change, that I got to clear up, that I got to, you know, slowly try to emulate Christ in, but... In no way does that make me not a Christian. Um, whether you're a hypocrite or not doesn't mean that you're still not termed a Christian. Just because, you know, someone is of lesser faith or does more wrong than you or something like that, that doesn't make that person <clears throat> less of a Christian in my mind. I know that's kind of getting on a different subject, but, um, you know, I just think that, uh, I think that also you were saying that you don't believe the Bible is perfect. Now, in circular reasoning, because the Bible was written by God, and you say or it was divinely inspired by God. You say that the Bible is not perfect, therefore it means that God is not perfect. So I'm wondering where your beliefs on the Bible and God are right now. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in another God now? Uh, I, I don't, I'm, not under, I'm not understanding what you believe, because saying that the Bible is not perfect says that God is not perfect. So therefore, if God is not perfect, he can't be a God. I'm 
mean, that's that's pretty simple. That's basic uh, reasoning. <laughs> um, but if you ever get any time, uh, I'd love for you to answer uh, some of these questions. Maybe you could clear up some things, and maybe I could get to actually know you better. All right, man.